to look up more about Dawn because there's so much more I'd love to say about her, but this is not the time to go into all the little details about Dawn. So Dawn Hansen, she was basically, uh, briefly, she was born in 1924, and she was uh, born into a vaudeville family of musicians. So she spent her childhood playing the saxophone in her family band with 11 brothers and sisters and her father. So they traveled around America, and that was what she did. Later on, as she grew older, she was also a cabaret singer, um, comedian, and she did all the uh, entertainment stuff. But in her later life, of course, I mean, all the way through, she, of course, encountered in Congress. And in the last 20, 30 years, she was working a lot um, with her friends, the Lindy Hoppers. And that is how Gordon and I separately got to know her. Um, and the essence of which I want to share with you today, because there, as I said, there's so much about Dawn. But what we want to talk about is, uh, for me personally, um, I entered Lindy Hop from the dancing side, right? I saw people dancing, look like fun, I want to do it, I want to learn it. Turn me again, throw me again, all this, you know? Um, but it's people like Frankie and Dawn that showed me that the dance is only, uh, the this and that is only part of the dance. The music is so important. And when Dawn taught and when she shared her, her, her side, because she was a musician, she said, listen to the music. The music is how you move. And when we met her, she was like 70 plus and all that. But she could still show us with a little twitch, a little pump, how to express music. And what she did for me was to um, embody music so that it wasn't something floating in the air, but it was someone, it was movement. And she took the music and she put it into her body and she showed me that music can be expressed with the head with a hip, with a look. And, I, and, and, and that was her lesson. Um, Gordon has the other side of the story, because he was a musician that came into dance. And he too, if I'm not wrong, show me how to do those things, show me how to throw the girl. You know, learn the moves. And then, he met Don, saw Don dance, and then he realized, the movement is part of the music. Yeah, so both of us, how we saw the income. So the slideshow I'm presenting is a very personal one. It's not about the history of Dawn Babila. It's some shots um, that I had with my friend from Ali Shen from Singapore. Dawn visited Singapore twice. Uh, one set of photographs I dug up on Friday because I, I know I had somewhere before digital cameras now very old. Uh, and I had to get my hard copy and get the sun to scan it. So yeah, yeah. so you can you can first time ever anyone has seen them, the, the 1998 Singapore slides. Um, the other set, uh, they, they're on my Facebook you know, when Dawn came in 20, 2010. We did a concert with a big band and she performed Spanky. And another set of photos is from this photographer, Tamara Pinko, um, and she took it in Paray. Tamara is a fantastic photographer. She captured Dawn's essence and um, a special, definitely a request, if you ever use professional photographers, photographs, credit them. Use their watermark, okay, it's their art. Um, and the, the fourth set is from a lovely friend, Boone, in New York. And this is like very touching for me because he took it in April this year. Uh, Don died two weeks ago. But he took it in April this year and he was in her house and he, he styled her and he took these photos. Um, she passed away, she was 88. She was out, not dancing, because she was quite frail, but she was out in New York at, um, at uh, Swing 47, Swing 46, out dancing the week before she passed away. So she, she, she lived to the end, the fullest, you know, to the end. Um, and very happy for that. So these slides, as I say, you know, you, you, you might have, no, you wouldn't have seen them on the internet yet, because they are personal, and, and photographers are very kindly share them with me, with you. I told them what it's for, and we're very happy because they also very touched by Dawn and very happy to honor and respect her. And I'm very blessed that Gordon is here to accompany to accompany this special show.
know Don asked me uh, earlier, um, who is Don and why is she important to the Lindy Hop scene? And it's actually kind of um, difficult to put that into words, but I just know for me how meaningful she is to me. And um, at every, my band has been playing for dancers since 2001. Um, and the current incarnation of the band was formed around the end of 2008. Well, I was telling Sing the story, the chronology of my friendship with Don. And Don was present throughout all of that. She was present at Swing Out New Hampshire. Uh, I, I witnessed her doing one of these incredible dance performances with Paul Overton, who was an instructor there at the time where she would just capture the whole feeling of the music with the tiniest movements. And it kind of defied her age. She basically showed us that no matter how old you are or young you are or what the limitations are of your physical ability or whatever, that's not what it's really about. It's about your soul, it's about the light that is in, on in you, and that was her uh, uh, saying, she had a, a, a cap that said, the light is on. <laughs> so, dawn, the light is on. And uh, but that light shone so brightly that when I was playing with my band in a room, if dawn was in that room, it felt different to me to play than if she wasn't there. So I had the great honor of only a couple weeks ago uh, playing for Don uh, for the very last time, and Andreas was present, and uh, we had a, um, a band of New Yorkers uh, from New York City, so Danny was not present that night. But uh, uh, anyway, it was only on uh, September 16th, and she was there, full of energy, full of life. She came to Swing 46 to, to hear my band, and she showed up before we started, and she was there attentive on hanging on every note until the very end of the last song. And clapping, she had a, cl a clapper that you know, she used that she clapped for all the solos and all this stuff. But you could feel that energy radiating from her. And um, to me, that actually captures the spirit of what Lindy Hop and this Lindy Hop community is about. So, and I know that she means the very same thing to Lindy Hoppers across the entire globe especially in New York City, where she has gone out uh, consistently throughout her life. She goes to Frim Fram Jam, on, uh, which is the regular dance event on Thursday nights, and many of the dancers there have close relationships with her. And so uh, everybody, uh, you know, it, it was a, a very big shock. Uh, even though she's 88 years old, we kind of had the sense that Dawn would, would last forever and that she'd always be around. Anyway, so Splanky was her song, and we're going to play that to accompany this um, beautiful presentation of, of photographs that Singh has put together. Thank you.